All right. All right. Where's the other half? Get away from me. Give it to us. We'll kill you. Who are you? Let go of me. Yo. Let her go. Let her go now. What's your name? Renee. I'm Lemro. What did they want? I don't know. I never saw them before. <laughs> it's strange. Me? You're the one who's being chased by thugs and doesn't know why. Well, let's go dancing. Love to. Wait a sec while I make a phone call. Hello, Rob. How's it going, bud? Can't make it over tonight. I just met the most beautiful girl. Helped her out of a jam. Now we're going dancing. Huh, yeah, major league, yeah, boss. Listen, by the end of the night, she'll be so hot for me. I just say so, that's all. Later, buddy. <laughs> Shoot me in their veins. They'll praise me while 
tell me who you are, asshole. Talk. Kilgore sent me. What does he want? He wants the disc. What disc? Ask the girl. Mess with me again, pal. In your history. I feel great. How can you say that when we've just been shot at? Where I come from, this stuff's a piece of cake. Oh, where's Ben? France. Listen, before we do the story of my life, don't you think it's about time for you to come clean with me? Who are these guys? What do they want from you? I'll tell you. But not until I trust you better. You're so beautiful. Stupid hat off.
are you? An alien. That's obvious. What are you, prejudiced or something? No. Suppose I was an alien and Jewish. How'd you like that? It has nothing to do with that. Suppose I was an alien in black. How'd that be? <laughs> I don't ever want to see you again. Dude, what was that all about? I told her I was an alien. Yo, dude. I told you never to do that. She saw my ears. Why don't you get those things clipped, dude? Yeah, right. Then when I go back to my own planet, all the people there will think I'm an asshole. You're never going back, dude. Stay here. I'm going back. Oh, yeah, right. When? I don't know. But I'm going back. I knew you'd be back. Call me Electra. What can I do for you? You can find something for me. Have a seat. I prefer to stand. Tell me about it. It's an artifact of an ancient Egyptian civilization. The secrets it contains are of the utmost importance to our understanding the development of Western culture. What does it look like? It's a perfect circle about this big. It's black, jet black, with silver inscriptions written on it on both sides. How did you lose it? It was stolen from me. When? The day before yesterday. Where? In my hotel room. Someone obviously knew I had it. I was bringing it to New York. I was going to meet with the Museum of Natural History. These men broke into my room and took it from me. What did they look like? They wore masks. I don't know what their faces were like. May I have a drink? White wine? Scotch and soda. But one of them had a skull and crossbones set in gold in one of his front teeth. Some trees grow up twisted. Can you help me? I can. May I ask you a personal question? Go ahead. Do you like Earth women? I've been away from home a long time. I've been getting very lonely. You're very beautiful. Your snicks are very soft. Thank you. How did you hear about me? You've got a rap. Here? Not here. At home on sticks. Why did you come to Earth? To bring the disc back to its rightful owners. How did you get a hold of it? Don't ask me so many questions. How did you find... Lamro, look. That man. He's been following me, Lemro. I'm afraid of him. I think he wants to kill me. Why? He's coming up here to talk to you. I'm sure of it. Who is he? It's him. You must have seen me. Let me hide in the closet. Forget about it. Quick! 
be my guest. I'm wrong. What is it, Susie? There's another... Uh... I believe there's a man there who wishes to see me. Well, that's right, boss. What's his name? What's your name? Scammer. The man says his name is Scammer. Send him in. Mr. Lemerle, private investigator, I presume. That's right. I am here to see you on a matter of urgent business. A matter of the utmost importance. The fate of the Earth will not be unaffected by the outcome of the matter about which I wish to speak to you. Mind if I smoke? No, go right ahead. Perhaps. You are not unaware of a struggle which is occurring now between the lowest elements of organized crime in this city. What kind of struggle? A struggle for control. For control of the most deadly kind of force known to man. Like what? Like a thermal nuclear device! I'm intrigued. I am not joking, you understand. Then how did a bunch of cheap hoods get their hands on an A-bomb? That chance. Tell me what it looks like. It's black. Jet black. In the shape of a disc. Let me guess, with silver inscriptions written on it on both sides. How did you know? Why is everybody after that goddamn disc? How dare you speak to me that way? Let me see your ear. Oh. Plastic surgery. I will not submit to this uncivilized behavior! So, you're from Styx. And you'll know more than you're telling. I see you've already heard of the disc. And now, I begin to wonder if perhaps I was in error and feeling I might be able to trust you. If you will raise your hands, If you don't mind, I will search the premises. You didn't finish telling me how it got here. It fell here. It's not from Earth. It fell out of the sky. It was found. Found by the wrong people. If you care about Earth, if you care about the people here, if you care about our planet, about sticks, you will help me recover it. And why should I believe that? Because that's the truth. Surprised about this? So, Electra, we meet again. Since you followed me here. I am sure I don't know what you mean. You'd have never thought to chuck bird on Earth. Yeah, you'll surely agree that our rivalry has always been to our mutual benefit. What's he talking about? Really, Mr. Limerell, this is none of your concern. Thermonuclear device. Egyptian artifact. Who the hell are you guys? Lemro, we need you. What for? Oh, really, Electra? Do you think it's actually necessary? Come clean. Tell me the truth. I see no need to listen to these rude demands any further. Do you? No. Good. So good to have met you. Find the disc, Lemro. I'll pay you a million quiplets for it. A million quiplets? It's a lot of money on sticks. I'll be in touch.
No tricks or we'll blast you all to hell. Did you bring the cash? I brought it. Then where is it? Luger, show them the money. There it is, three million in cash. Any other kind of a deal and I wouldn't do this kind of business with a dog like you. You're slime, Hanson. You young punks think you own the world. If it wasn't for the fact that I needed the cash flow, I'd keep the disc and bury you with it once and for all. Where is it? Where is the disc? I only got half of it. What? Read my lips. The deal is off. Take half the disc. It's worth half the cash. Yeah, you get the money and I get nothing. You get half the disc! Without the other half, this thing is worthless. How could you lose something like that? How do I know you didn't steal it from me? Easy. 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 Oh, God, Easy. this is life. Don't you fire. in this city. This is the answer. Morphed. I need more of it. Steve, you're my brother. You can tell me. You never did drugs. How could this have happened to you? Me and my buddies were in this bar night before last. We ran some bad dudes. Leave me alone, get lost. Come on, baby. We're gonna show you a good time. Get your hands off me. We're gonna let you fire, baby. Please, let me alone. <laughs> she just wants to be left alone. She's too tense. Man, guys like that just make me want to kick ass. Yeah, you and me both. You need a man who knows how to make you relax. Get away from me. You're coming with us? That does it for me. Come on. All right. Yeah, let's... Got a lap walk for you! Come on! 
do something to help. Good evening. May I come in? Sure. What a lovely residence you have here. This kind of space would be very expensive at home. They don't give it away here, either. Have a drink. Is that really? Unearthly spirits. Liquor from another galaxy. All the comforts of home. <laughs> Thank you. get used to these funny looking ears they have here. Why'd you have the plastic surgery then? That's why I come to speak to you, Lemro. This is the case that could make my career. At home, everyone has heard of you. Your exploits are even more famous since you left. But I am as yet not so well known. But if I could just solve this case, if I could recover the disc. What is it? But uh, I already told you. Thermal nuclear device. Cut me some slack. It hurts me deeply, Mr. Lemro, that you should doubt my words. Right. An electrocytor was an ancient Egyptian artifact. Electra! 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 She is always interfering in my cases. Don't change the subject. That woman will drive me crazy. She lies to you through her teeth. Yet you believe her instead of me. I don't believe either one of you. But you must, Mr. Limerell. A terrible force is about to be unleashed on your world. And now, I must be going. I am sorry to find you so uncooperative. I had hoped that we'd be able to collaborate to our mutual benefit. And now! Oh! Oh! 
can't pull that shit with me. Oh. Didn't you ever hear of John Houston? <laughs> Unhappy childhood. I'm so sorry. Now, I really must be going. I hope you will reconsider your decision. Don't be so sure that I won't. I'm sure there's some truth to what you've told me. Please. Why, sure. Don't even think about it. No. Perhaps that would be better. and slimy weasels. Get 
Give me some Soma. You, you pitiful wreck. Why should I give you anything? Please, please, Kilgore. Get away from me. Uh, no! <laughs> Delilah, where is she? Where's Delilah? There she is. Come here, my beauty. Why don't you let me go? Let you go? Darling, because I love you. You call hate love. We have a love-hate relationship, darling. All love-hate relationships are hate-hate relationships. All right, then I hate you! What difference do you think it makes to me? Give me some soma. Give me another one! How you doing, buddy? Just raging, dude. What are you drinking? Cerveza, dude. Breakfast of champions. One more. So what's shaking, bro? Man, are you ready for this? I think I'm ready. No way, with an earth woman? Hey, not so loud. Totally, right on, dude. So who's your dream date? Same girl I told you about over the phone. The one I met the day before yesterday. The one you helped out of the jam, yeah? That's her. I really think I'm in love, man. I really think I'm in love. So lay on me her stats, dude. What's she like? She's beautiful. Sharp. She's an interior decorator. She wears great clothes. She's got fabulous taste. Yeah. And it's weird. But even though her and I are so totally different, I really think she understands me. Whoa, take it slow, little bro. The last time I saw this chick, as I recall, she didn't look too stoked. Wasn't she the one I saw bailing from your pad the other night? That's the thing. I might not even ever see her. Didn't she give you a number? She gave me a lot more than that. Didn't she, saw? Why didn't you get those things clipped, dude? If that's what it takes to make her happy, I might do it. Renee. been able to think of anything but you since you left. Lemuel, that's not why I'm here. I've decided to trust you. You're the only one I can turn to. My brother's been poisoned. He's been addicted to some kind of drug. He's sick, Lemuel. He needs help. Remember those thugs who were attacking me the day we, we met? What did they want? They wanted this. What is it? I don't know. 
They'll do anything to get it. What are you doing with it? Staying alive. My brother found it in a bar after they beat him half to death and shot him full of poison. Here, let me see it. Squirrel. You recognize that writing? You bet. What is it? You know, the international not allowed sign? You mean the red circle with the line through it? That's it. Well? Well, this is like the cosmic version of that. There are seven or eight thousand planets. Or if they catch you owning anything marked like this, they kill you. How'd it get to Earth? It fell here. Well, what is it? Why is it so bad? I don't know yet. It's got to be pretty serious. My planet's equivalent of the FBI is here looking for it. And they're not talking. We'll have to see the other half of the disk to find out. How are we going to do that? Not we. I'll handle these sons of bitches myself. You take care of yourself and your brother. How will you find them? You remember the fight in the disco? I think so. Before I turn that hairball loose, I put a bug on him. If I can get near him again, it'll lead me right to them. Thank you, Lenny. Limro. They're coming for me again. Soon. I can feel it. My son, you must turn from these evil ways. Fuck off, father. Look within yourself for the light that beckons you. It is God's light, the light of your eternal salvation. God can forgive the most heinous of sins, the most horrible crimes. It is not too late for you to turn from this path of evil. But stop, stop now before it is too late. No, Kilcore, not the two, ah. not the priest. Ah. at me that way. I know you've only got room in your mouth for one false tooth full of poison. I've been with you a long time, man. How could you do that to a priest? to see you again. What are you doing here? Who in the hell do you think you are and why are you up to this goddamn disc? Forget about the disc, Lemro. Let's talk about us. I miss the touch of a man from our world. You remind me of home. How much I love it. Electra, I'm in love with another woman, an Earth woman. Where is she? Well, whether or not she's in love with me is still an open question. In that case... You promise never to come here like this again? I promise.
don't try it, you asshole, or I'll blow her brains all over the ah, 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 Do it! Do it! Why didn't you do it? Are you kidding? I'd have loved to. But I want him to lead me back to where they live. See, he's still wearing that same jacket. If he'd have left it home in the laundry, I would have nailed that son. <laughs> Is that your car? Yeah. Give me your keys. Over there. I'm out of here. Meet me in my place. Stay inside. Lock the doors and stay low. Be careful. Moving pretty fast. Got to keep him in range. A couple of coke dealers face down in the river. You'll never see him again. I went there. I got to her. I almost had her. But that guy from the disco, he shut off my ear. He shut off yeah. my ear. So what? Get out of here. trouble? Not yet. How'd it go? I found it. I went tracked him right back to where they live. I'm going back there tonight. You sure it'll be safe? Don't worry about me. Come on. Let's go out. It's nice out. Renee, I've got something I need to tell you about the day we met. What is it? Sorry I didn't tell you more about myself. Before we got involved. Oh? I'm really sorry, Renee. It was a shock. You terrified me, Limro. I know. I'm really sorry. I mean, I know you can't exactly look it up in, like, Emily Post under the chapter Aliens. When do you tell the girl? But you know, all the same. After you get involved, it's... Not the right time. Not to mention during. Right. Not to mention during. It was fun, though. I know. It was for me, too. Wait a minute, Lemo. Slow down. I don't think I could ever be involved with an alien. Just give me some time, Renee. That's all I ask. It's a Lemo. What brought you here? You mean like to Bel Air? No, I mean like to Earth. What do you mean, Earth is fun city? What? I'm having a good time. I'm on vacation. Seeing new places, doing new things. What are you private eye for anyway? Let's me meet people and get to know them. I meet more people and get to know them better in a month than I'll bet you do in an entire year. <laughs> this is too much. Cut it out. <laughs> Get serious Come here. On. Let's go hear some jazz.
Kilgore, you're dead. <laughs> I don't think this is enough for you. Will you feel this. Take him upstairs and lock him up. It won't be long before he'll do anything for another taste of soma.
Good morning. I'm making us some breakfast. How are you feeling? Great. What happened to you last night? How did I get here? He just came in, passed out. Lamarol? Are you feeling okay? Yes and no. You know that stuff they shot your brother up with? Yes. Well, I got an armload full of it yesterday, too. No, Lemo, not you, too. I didn't respect those guys enough. Tell me what the stuff does. You mean what it did to Steven? Yeah. 
Do you really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. I have to know. By tonight, you'll do anything for another hit. By tomorrow morning, you'll be nuts. Nuts? Nuts. Crazy, insane. And if you don't shoot up again then, I don't know what'll happen next. Great. Was I wearing a jacket when I came in last night? Yeah, it's over there. Check this out. Lamron, you found it. Yeah, I came out with the goods. Where's your half? It's right here. Let's see it. Part of a device that makes soma. What soma? It's what me and your brother are pumped up with. Well, okay, but what is it? It's an alien designer drug. I've heard of designer drugs. That's when a scientist looks at a molecule of an illegal drug and moves an electron from here over to here. And it's still just as deadly as before, only now it's legal. Right. You've already got drugs like that here on Earth. Imagine what kind of drugs they'll be able to make here in a thousand years. This drug was designed on my planet with 30th century technology. It's what you guys on Earth are headed for. Renegade scientists designed this to be the most addictive drug possible, given human body chemistry, the body chemistry of life forms like us. It's been illegal on my planet for 10 centuries. But how could anything be worse than, say, heroin or cocaine? How could anything be worse? This is worse. First of all, doing this drug feels almost as good as having sex. It's designed with 30th century technology and it doesn't feel better than having sex? Nothing feels better than having sex. Okay. It feels great at first. Then it leaves you alone for a day or so. Then it hurts like hell until you do it again. You do this drug five times, you're hooked for life. You do it a couple hundred times, you die. You go cold turkey, you die. The only cure after five times is a 100% total blood transfusion. And only Keith Richards can afford that. Lemo, are you telling me that you and my brother are gonna die? How many times has he shot up? Twice. And they gave me a double dose. So we're about even. We're okay. We haven't shot up five times yet. We can still kick it. We can still go cold turkey. Lemro, I don't know if my brother has the strength. They keep sending him packages of the drug to taunt him. And I don't know if he has the strength to resist. We'll give him the strength. It's gonna hurt like hell. And in three days, we'll be clean again. Yes, yes, please, just one more shot. Get ready. <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! Some wimps can't handle it. Give me some soap.
Miss Delilah. Give me some. Give me some Soma. longer. She's all used up. Get rid of her. How much soma do we have left? About a quart. Quart! We've got to get the other half of that disc. You know how much it's worth to us? Tell me. The most addictive drug in history. Better than heroin. Better than cocaine. It'll make the heroin business look puny. The coke business. Punk. It's worth billions. Wait here. got the disc. He's got all of it. Find him and kill him! Does your brother live far from here? Only about 15 minutes. How do you feel? So far, so good. A little hot. This is Lemo. Bernice told me a lot about you. She told me some things I found pretty hard to believe. I told him about your ears. I told him you were from somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, right. She told me where you're from. France. <laughs> Look, pal, I don't care where you're from. If you're a friend of Renee's, you're okay with me. I'm going to the car. I'll be right back. You play football, don't you? That's right. Look, that's me right now. I've seen you play. You've got great hands. Thanks. Nothing so great right now, though. When was the last time you shot up? Yesterday? That's when they shot me up. I thought I was gonna die. I had to have another hit. And that was your second time? 
That's right. So you've only had one hit. It was a double dose. We're about even. You don't know what it's like when this stuff starts to twist itself around inside you. You feel like you'd rather taste it than live. I'm not shooting up again. That's easy for you to say now. Just wait till tonight. Wait till tomorrow morning. You wait. I'm making up my mind now. I'm not going to quit till I'm clean. All right. Me neither. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. We're going to have to move to a hotel. They know where you live. This is the place. This is where it's going to happen. Stay with it, buddy. I can handle it if you can. No goddamn aliens are gonna out macho me. I can't handle it! I can't handle it! It's not even crazy! Be okay. How are you feeling? Wonderful. I don't know if I could ever thank you enough for anything. I'm so glad you will again. Oh. I'm going out for some air. You want anything? Steve, can I ask you something? You bet. How do you like Lemro? If it wasn't for him, I don't think it'd be clean now. I guess I'd still be using that miserable drug. Maybe the real question is, how do you like him? The first time I met him, I thought he was wonderful. And then I was furious at him. And now, he's done so much for us. Don't you think so? Yeah, I do. He has. I mean, he got into all of this just for my sake. Don't forget what he is, Renee. I can't. Okay, see you in a few. Where's Steve? Went out for some air. I called some friends. They'll be here in an hour and a half. You feel good now? I feel wonderful. Lemro. Yes. Is your planet very beautiful? It's beyond anything you've ever imagined. Do you miss it? Very much. Tell me what it's like. Silver grass, mountains ten miles high, five moons, ten suns. At night, the air is rich and sweet. You want to drink it more than breathe it. Don't you have pollution like we do? We whipped pollution 500 years ago. Our air is as clean as yours was when the dinosaurs breathed it. Do you have oceans and ships? Enormous oceans. 
My world is a third again as big as Earth. And our oceans are enormous. Some of the fish that swim in them are intelligent and raise crops under sea that we trade with them for. And we have sailing ships with broad sails the size of a football field. What's the name of it? It's called Styx. Lemra, I love you. Now we know what it is. Tell us how it got here. It fell here, just like Scamma told you. After they were outlawed ten centuries ago, all but one of them was destroyed. The last one resided in the Museum of Planetary History until last month. It was stolen, but the robbery didn't go smoothly as planned. When the thieves felt us closing in on them, they encased it in a rock-like substance and launched it into space. It was on a trajectory that would have returned it to Styx in five years. But instead, it entered an uncharted black hole, which flung it into an entirely unexpected region of the universe. Your region. It fell to Earth here two weeks ago. Only my discovery of the uncharted black hole permitted me, amongst the thousands of agents assigned to this case, to trace it to its destination. Why didn't you tell us before? It is forbidden. Our orders were to do nothing that might enable anyone who found it to learn what it was and how to use it. I think it's safe to assume they figured it out. Glad we're out of here. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, it's incredible. This way. Give us the disc, or your friend gets it. Oh. 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 Don't do it, Renee! Do it, Renee, or we'll blast that poor bastard brother of yours from here to hell. No. Steve? your friend out of the street. Libro, forget about me! Stay where you are! Now, switch him. Say goodbye to your girlfriend. 
asshole. <laughs> Renee! Steve will be fine. It's a superficial leg wound. You can set your mind at ease.
didn't hit you that hard, buddy. Tell me.